Coming up on Tech Gumbo, it's that time again for more useful websites. I've got a wide variety for you this month, and with any luck, you'll find at least a few of these sites to be useful for you. In the comments in the previous videos in this series, you all have been recommending so many great sites, so instead of showing you 5 websites, in this edition, I'll be increasing the quantity to show you 10 useful websites that you wish you knew earlier. As usual, I'll give you a quick demonstration of each site, and we're starting right now. Number 1. Brainly. If you're a student, this is a site you must check out. There will be times when you can't easily get the answers you need from a textbook or the internet. Brainly is a social learning community for students where you can get help in almost every subject. Those include math, history, physics, geography, and several others. Here's how it works. You could either type in your question here at the top, or below, you could select Ask Your Question. Type your question in the open box, then pick your subject, and then select Ask Your Question. If you're the helpful type, you can assist others by answering their questions as well. The next time you need help getting a question answered, you should try out Brainly. Number two, Seat Guru. As you all know, airplanes are getting more cramped as airlines try to pack in more flyers to increase their revenues. Seat Guru features more detailed aircraft seat maps, seat reviews, and a color-coded system to help identify the best and worst seats. To find seat maps, first select your airline. I will go with Delta, which is one of my least favorite airlines. The flight number is 1970. Select the date of your flight. I'll just leave it on August 30th. Then select Find Seat Map. On any of the flights listed, select View Map. If you move your mouse over each seat, It'll give you more detailed information. Let's move down the page a little bit. If you find a seat in red or yellow, you'll want to pay more attention to the additional information. For example, this seat I'm looking at has restricted leg room due to a protrusion of the exit door, and it's nearby the lavatory and galleys. Along the right side, you get seating details by class of seating, traveler photos of that plane, in-flight amenities, an overview of that plane, and my favorite section, Featured User Comments, which will show their seat number along with their personal experience in that seat. And right below that is the seat map key. And as you can see, the green ones are the good ones. You should be aware of the yellow ones. And if they're coated in red, they say those are bad seats. Before you book your next flight, instead of just relying on the airline seating chart, get more information by going to Seat Guru. Number three, I love PDF. In the previous video in this series, I recommended small PDF. I love PDF is very similar. You have more than a dozen options, including conversions, merging, and compressing of PDFs. It works exactly the same as small PDF. So to save you some time, I'll skip the full demo for this one and just give you a brief overview on how to use it. Select what you want to do. I'll select convert word to PDF. Then you can select your file or you can just drag your file from a folder and drop it right on this page. And then just wait for it to finish. To use I Love PDF, there are limitations for each process each month in three categories, which include unregistered, registered, and premium, which is $4.99 per month. I Love PDF is a good option to go to if you've reached your free limit with small PDF. Number four, free computer books. If you're in need of books for free regarding computers, programming, mathematics, engineering, or technical books, Free Computer Books is a great resource to download those books. You'll see that there are several categories and subcategories along the left side. Across the top are some of the more popular categories. So to navigate the site, just select your category. I'll select C++, then select a book. I'll select Fundamentals of Programming C++. There's some information here at the top of the page. If you scroll down the page, it will show you even more information along with the download links. To download the book, just select one of the links and it's that easy. If you need additional help with your studies, you should check out free computer books. Number five, Rabbit. If you like to watch your favorite shows with your friends without being in the same room, then Rabbit may be for you. To begin, Select Start a Watch Party. 
you could select one of the many live events or take a look at one of the upcoming events. If you want to join a room, select Join Room. That is all I'm allowed to show you, so let's move on to the next site. Number six, Music Map. The site is useful for discovering artists that have a similar sound to your favorite music artists. Music Map isn't a music streaming site. It just helps you to discover new music and it couldn't be any easier to use. Just type in the artist name and hit enter. I will search for ACDC. According to Music Map, it says Metallica has the highest probability of me liking that artist too, and that would be correct. From here, you can continue to click on other artists too. And that's how you use Music Map. Number seven, 1000 Life Hacks. This site posts a daily tip to help simplify your life. On 1000 Life Hacks, you'll find many of the tips to be very useful. For example, today's life hack says to take a pen to your interview, Asking for a pen during an interview gives a bad impression, and you'd be surprised how many people do it. That is good advice. You can see previous life hacks by scrolling down the page. Number eight, eat by date. Along the same lines as life hacks, eat by date lets you know how long your food really does last, since food is usually safe to eat past the posted expiration dates. You could either do a custom search here in the search bar, or you could scroll down and select one of several categories, including dairy, fruits, proteins, vegetables, and others. In the proteins category, I'll select bacon. It says here that bacon lasts one to two weeks beyond the sell-by date and can be safely frozen for six to eight weeks, which is good to know. If you scroll down the page, there's a lot more information. Eat by date is great for reducing the chances of putting perfectly good food in the trash. Number nine, how Stuff Works. Many of you may already be familiar with this site since there were several requests to put this website into a video in this series. They post articles in several categories, including health, science, home and garden, auto, tech, and many others, which help to explain complex concepts, terminology, and mechanisms. How Stuff Works even had their own TV series back in 2008 on the Discovery Channel. Some of the articles they post could even save your life, like this one, how can straining on the toilet kill you? For more enlightening and possible life-saving articles, check out How Stuff Works. Number 10, Manuals Lib. Of all the sites I've mentioned lately, this one's been the most useful. Manuals Lib features more than two and a half million PDF manuals, representing more than 48,000 brands. This past week I had an LG refrigerator that was not cooling properly, and it's had other issues as well. I'm showing you this LG fridge to encourage you to never buy this refrigerator. With all the problems I've been having with it, I'm starting to think LG stands for low grade. Anyways, I couldn't find the manual for it, so I went onto this site and I'll demonstrate by showing you the steps I took to get the manual. First, you'll want to get the model number of the TV, refrigerator, toaster, or any other electronic item, and you'll want to enter that into the search bar. And now I've got the manual I could not find. Manuals Lib is just that easy to retrieve your manual and it is completely free. That concludes this list. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. Let us know in the comments if you know of a useful website that you think would be beneficial to others. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click that subscribe button and bell notification icon to get the latest from our website series and other tech related stuff from Tech Gumbo.